Hello everyone, welcome to the Electron Flow Academy. So today we are going to discuss about the numerical problem number two based on three phase AC star connected load. Okay, so question is given us that a three phase load consists of three similar inductive coils. So each of the resistance is 50 ohms and inductance of 0 0.3 Henry. Okay. So the three phase supply is 415 volt, 50 hertz. So here we need to calculate the line current, power factor, and total active power when the load is connected in the star manner. Okay. So let's start the solution for this. So given parameters are firstly line voltage is given to us here the supply is 414 volts so this is the line voltage frequency 50 hertz inductance 0. P Henry and resistance of coil is 50 ohms. Okay, so we know that here for star connected load, Per phase voltage is given by Vp is equal to Vl divided by root of 3. Okay. So here we can calculate the phase voltage. Okay. So line voltage is 415 and we are going to divide it by root 3. So the value of the phase voltage is 239.6 volts. Okay. First thing. And second thing for the star connected load is that the phase current is equal to the line current. Okay. So next thing is that here we need to calculate impedance per phase. Okay. Now impedance meaning ZP. Okay phase. So we know that the ZP is equal to or the generalized formula of the impedance is R plus J of XL. Okay. So it is the R plus J of XL. So after putting the values, the value of the resistance is 50 plus J of we know that the XL is 2 pi FL. Okay. So 2 pi FL. So we are putting the values here. 50 plus J 2 pi into frequency is again 50 into the inductance is 0 0.3 Henry. So from this expression, I get the value of the jet P in rectangular form is 50 plus J 94.25 ohm. Okay. So if I convert this rectangular into polar format, then I'll get the value of 106.69 at an angle of 62.05 degree. Okay. So, this is how we have calculated the per phase impedance. Okay. So, next. Next thing is that we need to calculate the phase current. Okay. So, here phase current IP is equal to 
phase voltage divided by phase impedance. So we know that the value of the phase voltage is here, 239.6, and the phase impedance is this. Okay. So phase voltage is 239.6 at an angle of 0 degree divided by phase impedance, which we just calculated, 10, sorry, 106.69 at an angle of 62.05. Okay. So the value of the phase current is equal to the value of the line current in the star connected load. Okay. So, which is equal to 2.245 at an angle of minus 62.05. Okay, or we can say that IP equal to IL equal to 2.245 MK. Okay, so firstly we have calculated the line current. Okay, this portion is complete. Next. The question is asked us to calculate the power factor. Okay, so we know that power factor is nothing but the cos phi. Okay, so here phi is 62.05. Okay, so cos of 62.05 is equal to 0 0.468 lagging. Okay. So this is how we have calculated the power factor. And lastly, the question asks us to calculate the active power when the load is connected in a star okay next we have to calculate the active power okay so we know that the formula for the active power in the case of three phase supply p is equal to root 3 vl il cos of Phi. Okay, so P is equal to root 3. We know that the line voltage given us is 415 volt into line current is equal to 2.24 into cos phi is 0 0.468. Okay, so the active power is equal to. 7 sorry fifty five seven hundred and fifty five point two watt okay so this is how we have calculated the line current power factor and the active power which is the total active power of the circuit so thank you very much please like and su subscribe our channel